What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Just Give Love, back with another video. As always, hello to my lovely, my beautiful, wonderful subscribers. If you all don't know, it's a super, super new channel. Um, it's a small channel, so I appreciate you. I see you, I comment back. So be sure to like and subscribe out of all the channels that you're subscribed to. I can promise you, I'm gonna love you the most. So hope y'all doing good out there. What's up, everybody? I came on here today. I just wanted to talk about lawsuits. I just wanted to talk about lawsuits, y'all. Um, it just seemed like right now, everybody and a mama want to file a lawsuit, whether it has you know, backup support behind it, whether it's just stupid, whether it's everybody want to um, file a lawsuit. Shoot, I work in property management and because I sent um, $300 to this girl, she gave me, whenever we have an application that comes through, um, we typically mail the checks back out, but we mail them to the addresses that you provide. But yeah, this one lady, of course she black, want to give me a tood um, because I sent a check to an address that she provided and um, wanted to talk, talk about she want to sue me $300 now I'm a person that I don't care if it's five dollars if it's my money it's my money so I was all the way on her side with that but it was the girl $300 you trying to take me to court um, and I just work for the company and secondly your lawyer fee is finna be way more than that. Like, why you can't just go to the address that I sent it to and get the check? <sighs> These people, I swear. The stuff that I be having to deal with, y'all. I'm gonna have to do some story times about my job. Because I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. But I'm bringing up lawsuits, y'all. Because if you don't know, don't care. Live it on no rock. Um, Masika, Kayla Shay, or Kayla Shay, whatever her name is. I know for sure her name is Masika. If you don't know who Masika is, um, she was a cast member of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. She was one of the you know first group that came in. Um, she also was on Growing Up Hip Hop, I'm pretty sure, for a little second, but the buzz wasn't that big, so you didn't hear from her after that. But most people do know her from Love and Hip Hop. Um, Masika, AKA Dirty Feet. Now, I ain't even gonna lie, like I actually had to be on Masika's side because when I came to Los Angeles, when I tell you, sh your feet will get dirty in sneakers out here. Like the grounds is so dirty. Like don't wear no sandals cause you gonna be dirty foot too. Heels in Los Angeles will get you dirty feet. So I ain't gonna call her Dirty Feet no more. This is my last time saying Dirty Feet about Masika. So I apologize for laughing when everybody else was laughing about her feet being dirty. But anyways, um, yeah, Masika um, came out today. Well, it came out today that she is going to be suing, or yesterday, that she's going to be suing Zeus Network and Hazel E. Again, Hazel E. Loving Hip Hop Hollywood. She was one of the original cast members. Her and Masika, they started off friends uh, um, originally. That And honestly, I liked Masika at first. Um, but then when she kind of did that whole swap thing with Hazel, even though Hazel was super, super delusional for people that, you know, living on a rock, just simply don't care. They were beefing on Love and Hip Hop Miami for a season. And it kind of just trickled down to now. But, and when I say till now, I think like a year ago, her and Hazel had a, you know, Zeus Network, they have this thing where it is, um, they have it called the sit down. Apparently some, bull crap princess love and ray j you know came up with whatever whatever but yeah it's called the sit down and they pretty much get you know these previous reality stars who had super super major beef and they sit down and they call it a conversation and they try to have a conversation but most of the time it's really just them fighting attempting to fight so i really didn't see any value in those type of you know shows the conversation whatever that Zeus had but Masika Kayla Shea she is suing Zeus Network and it was reported that Hazel E was going to be in the lawsuit as well um, but she did come out again and say that you know Hazel was not included so it's a few things that I want to say because I'm so sick of these Nene, Monique, um, Cardi B like now I was all team Cardi B 
Um, and I'm scattered right now. But I was Team Cardi B with the whole Tasha K, even though I think Tasha K is hilarious. I love her show. Sometimes I'm not a fan of the jokes, um, but she's super funny. I love her content. And, but I was Team Cardi in that sense. However, Cardi done got the big head, so now every time somebody talks about her on the blogs or something like that, she wants to throw out the, I'm gonna sue you, I'm gonna get my legal team. But my thing is, Cardi, be careful with that because you're still in litigation right now. So those two girls that you had allegedly beat up for messing with, for your husband wanting them, they're gonna, I'm, I'm, like I said, I, I felt like Cardi was going to win that case. And I feel like those girls are going to win that case too. And the same rah-rah that she's giving to Tasha, those girls are going to give it to her. Because wrong wrong is wrong. Tasha was wrong. And in that sense, with those girls at the strip club that all said wanted, you were wrong. Allegedly. But anyways, but yeah, like I said, everybody want to sue. As y'all know, Nene Leakes, she just dropped her um, stupid lawsuit, which a lot of black people, come on, y'all. We just have to, you know, be a little bit more smarter. I understand that we immediately want to go to the, you know, black person one, but we just can't be ignorant. Everybody in the comments saying, you know, oh, they didn't cut the check. Nene did not get a check from Bravo. Um, she still has an opportunity to sue them if she wanted to however she do, did not get a check she may be possibly you know wanting to work with them she may be even knew that it was bs because the public definitely wasn't on her side when you think about common sense she was just a mean girl she was like the queen bee at, you know at bravo and then when they you know in a way was trying to scoot her out because she became too, the monster that they created became too big for them that's when that monster wanted to you know go to oh it's discrimination and it's this and it's that but again it did not go anywhere i don't think that even in the future she's going to you know sue them because it's just it's baseless to me it's baseless i mean mostly to the public a few things about this masika lawsuit <laughs> that makes it hilarious 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 hilariously um one she waited a year to file this lawsuit um that's the biggest thing you know she is claiming that assault happened well sexual assault happened to her i guess when she was fighting with when she was trying to fight hazel apparently one of the security guards grabbed her butt and made a comment saying that oh you thick um, that, that can be determined, you know, like that's going to be hard because of course it's her word versus their word. And of course the people that work at Zeus, they are going to be definitely no, that didn't happen. I don't remember security guard. They're going to be on that security guard scene. So that right there is going to be super hard to prove. Secondly, she was saying something about being assaulted. They're going to play the video. I'm pretty sure they're going to get you know they're gonna get the video information and if you see masika was super super aggressive hazel had just had her um like she was postpartum i think maybe not she just had the belly i don't know but masika was the aggressor the entire time so it's super laughable it's so laughable um secondly even though personally i feel like you know zeus is not a good representation of you know black culture they still are a black network. She's had several situations with VH1. Ain't no lawsuits coming out. So I'm just, it, it just be so funny sometimes how black people are so afraid to put that energy into their white counterparts or the white people that are putting them in racist situations or, you know, discrimination for whatever reason. But it's so quickly dealt with with other black people now don't get me wrong at the end of the day if somebody is wrong somebody is wrong i don't care if they're black or not but sometimes that it just seems a little funny have that same energy with everybody it's just my opinion i'm gonna have it for the whites whatever the blacks the greens the purples whatever i'm gonna have the same energy for everybody because i'm team me you know i mean i'm a black woman and i love 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 being black so that's my culture that's my that's my heritage however when it comes to being right or wrong I don't, I'm not going to let a black person wrong me. I'm not going to let a white person wrong me. I'm not going to let an Asian, no matter what. That's just me. Um, she filed the lawsuit without a lawyer. That speaks volumes that nobody would even touch the case. So secondly, like, so even when, like, say, for instance, if I'm a, sh a miracle shot in 
she actually gets a court date who's going to represent her because she filed the documents on her own like i said um, a lot of people in the comments they are saying that it is because she's broke um <laughs> the it, it, i just i just don't understand it she she kind of is not, you know, in the spotlight. Last thing that you was hearing was she was kind of bragging about, you know, messing with T.I., which, who don't? Like, it is what it is. But, you know, that's Tiny's headache, not nobody else's. But, yeah, um, I just think that the whole thing, honestly, in my opinion, is pathetic. I think that a lot of these people that are immediately threatening lawsuits when you don't have any, you know, base behind it, it's baseless. And it's just, I don't know if it's a trend. I don't know if she just wanted to be in the spotlight, but it backfired. You know, I, I don't see any support in the comments, which of course you don't have to run your life by, you know, social media support. However, everybody's just kind of like on the same page. Where did this come from? Why did it come from somewhere? <laughs> and it's just so random. Again, this happened over a year ago and now you're filing a lawsuit when in the video you were the aggressor masika i'm hoping that you know like because these people she's constantly you know it, it's just always so funny when you have reality stars again who act like they are a listers a plus plus listers they always constantly want to use the broke card up against other people who not even broke like it's always a hater or it's always you broke this you broke that get your money up this that and a third but yet you're doing broke sh like this it's just crazy and sometimes that type of behavior it always reveals itself I mean, they're not gonna admit it, but you gotta take Arby Fletcher. She's in the so she's in the media right now. Like, how are you? Even if it was an error, even if it was a financial error, even if she forgot to pay, you are Miss Rich Bitch. You know, like you are any like her only clapback in life to anybody is that they're broke. When in reality, people not broke. Like you have do you do have some broke haters. But then you have some people who are not broke that's just speaking the truth and just letting you know their truthful opinion. And if I'm not a fan of yours, I have every right to not be a fan of yours. Or if something is out on social media and I want to, you know, comment about it, you might, if you didn't put it out there, boo, I wouldn't have anything to comment on. It's not hating. It's just being, if you're not a fan, you're not a fan. If, if you're telling somebody the truth and that truth is not appealing to them, you're automatically a hater. Or like I said, her go-to is you're broke, but yet you something comes in the media that your Lamborghini truck is about to be repossessed or you stop making payments on it. That type of stuff always comes full circle because there are people richer than Ariana Fletcher and I don't even consider her to be rich. Like she's richer than me of course however i don't consider her to be rich like girl you hood rich you social media rich if social media died tomorrow what would you do nothing because that's where you get your money from so it's like sometimes y'all really have to be careful with what y'all put in the world and what you are shaming people for because that same you know hole that you're trying to put somebody else in that broke hole why do you feel like you can't ever get to that <laughs> like what to tell you my god when he chopped down that tree and all my people out there, they know exactly what I mean by chopping down that tree. When that tree is chopped, it's nothing that you can do, baby girl. You have gazillionaires, billionaires broke now. When God decided to pull that trigger, it's nothing that, nothing that any of us can do. So, like, again, Masika, was that was her go-to car. You broke this, you broke that. like, And, again, now you are the one that's displaying broke person behavior. Anyways, hope y'all having a blessed day if you, or a blessed night. If you did not, tomorrow is a new day for you to start fresh, y'all. I hope y'all having a blessed one. If you have some time, please let me know what you think in the comments about these girls who are quick to, you know, yell out the broke card and then karma just kind of comes back and kick them in the butt. Let me know what y'all think. Again, y'all, small channel, so I'm so appreciative of any likes, any subscription. Any comments, I appreciate it so, so, so much. I will see y'all later. Have a blessed one. Peace.